Hello everyone, welcome to AKP's IT Tech. Nowadays, we often use MQTT protocol for IoT applications. Today, I am going to implement MQTT clients in Raspberry Pi G.W. So, no more waiting, let's start. I am using the Raspberry Pi G.W in headless mode. Let's open the VNC remote desktop viewer to access the Raspberry Pi G.W. If you don't know how to set up the Raspberry Pi Zero W and access it from your Windows PC, then please visit my previous video related to Raspberry Pi Zero W setup, and the link will be available in the description box. I am going to use the Python programming language. First, we need to implement the Paho MQTT client. Okay, in my system, the Paho MQTT client is already installed. Let's create the first MQTT client for publishing data from Raspberry Pi 0 W. Let's go through the code. It's easy to understand. First, you need to import paho.mqtt.client. Next, the server address. Here, I am implementing a Mosquito MQTT server in my Windows PC. So, this is the IP of the Mosquito MQTT server. Next, the MQTT port and it's 1883. After that, uh, we are going to uh, define the topic. So here, the topic is test. Next, create the client object. And after that, we are going to connect to the MQTT server through client.connect function. And three arguments are used. One, the IP address of the MQTT server. Next, uh, the port the server is going to use and the timeout variable. So here it's 60. The topic already defined, it's test and next the data and here it's hello from pi 0. At the end, with client.disconnect, the client is going to disconnect from the server. Wait. In the second terminal, let's create the MQTT client for subscribing the data. Let's go through the code. So first, uh, you need to import the paho.mqtt.client. Next, uh, the MQTT server IP address. Next, the port number of the MQTT server and subscribing topic to print the message. Whatever message is coming through the topic, we are going to print okay, uh, with the on message. Uh, function. So, this is the overall code uh, I am implementing in the MQTT client that's going to subscribe the data. So, these two codes are ready. Now, what I need? I need the Mosquito MQTT server. Let's start the Mosquito MQTT server. So, in my Windows system, the server is running. Now, it's time to create the MQTT clients. First, I am creating the MQTT client for subscribing the data. Let's hit enter. So, it's running. Let's go to the MQTT server and here one client connected. The client that is running in my Raspberry Pi Zero successfully connected with the server running in my Windows system. And here, let's find out the topic and the topic is test. So, it's Okay, fine. Now it's time to create the another client that's going to publish the data. We can visualize the second client also connected with the server. Fine. And the, here the client is publishing the data through the topic test. And that's why the subscriber, the MQTT client, here got the data hello from pi 0. So here the subscribing MQTT client got the data from the server. Okay, this is the complete scenario. Here I have created two MQTT clients, one for publishing the data. So this is the MQTT client that's going to publish the data to the server. And here the MQTT client is receiving the data or subscribing the data from the MQTT server. Uh, so, let's go through the code once again. First, 
I am going to open the code for publishing the data. So here it is. Now here the topic is test. Fine. And what is the data? Hello from Pi Zero. The same data received by the client that subscribe the data to the topic test. This is the way how we can create MQTT clients in Raspberry Pi Zero W. It's easy and simple. If you have any doubt and query regarding the video, please feel free to communicate with me through the comment section of the video. Thank you.